Good morning or afternoon, 8th grade students. Today we are looking at number 71, Battle Hymn of the Republic. This tune has been through a lot. It was originally written by Julia Howe and was used as an unofficial national anthem for the North, or the Union in the Civil War. It proved to be such a popular song and such a popular melody that it was, that it was eventually used by the South as well with reworked lyrics. Um, after that, it continued to be pretty popular in army bands and just the theme in general. Uh, for instance, I'm sure you've heard this theme before, and it was eventually used in many other different areas. It's been used by politicians. It's been used by the evangelist Billy Graham. Today, I would say that probably the most famous place it's used is the University of Georgia uses it for one of their fight songs for their sports teams, football in particular. So looking through this song that's been through so many different times, the thing that I notice here, I don't know if you see them, are the dotted 8th, 16th notes. There are just a few of them here. Uh, there are a lot of them. So as you're counting these, I know that we just came from learning 3-8 time. It's very important that you make sure that you're counting right here, right here as 1-2 uh, instead of 1-2-3. Uh, uh, it should be 1-2-3. Uh, uh, a four, a one. So each one of these dotted eighth notes should take the same time as three sixteenth notes. So make sure that you're counting that. And if that's too much to process in your brain, just try to play this sixteenth note after the dotted eighth note at the last possible second before moving on to the next one. That can prove to be pretty challenging if you're playing through this entire piece. Now, for strategy for learning this one, I recommend that you do this one probably in two measure chunks. And then right here, when you see this line right here, notice that it is very similar to what you have right here. Um, and then, of course, the key signature is going to be concert B flat. Maestoso is an interesting marking. It is a style marking. It's not really necessarily a tempo marking. Maestoso means majestically. To me, that means that I should be playing notes with sort of not exactly accents at the beginning of the notes, but sort of kind of accent-ish. So you'll hear me in the recording sort of accenting my notes and making sure that every note rings like I'm ringing a bell. It doesn't really refer to a tempo, so I chose to play this one a little faster than Andante, probably an Andantino.